Okay, the uh, the oldest five chicks are just over three weeks old now. The others are just over two. And the paper towels just weren't cutting it anymore. Um, they were getting really gross within just a day. Um, I asked my friend who's a carpenter about some sawdust and he didn't have anything but cedar right now. So I passed on that. Um, so I'm going to try hay. If hay doesn't work, then I'll have to break down and go buy some uh, pine shavings. But I'm hoping the hay will work. It's not real absorbent, so who knows. But let's, let's get the chickies out and see what they think of hay. They've never seen this before. Hey, babies. Come on. Little Rhode Island Red. Come on, Sabie. Get out of the way. This is the Buff Orpington, who I think is becoming the head hen. This, this is Piggy, the uh, Americana. One of our little cuckoo moraines, the two week old ones. Come on. This is our cuckoo moraine with all the white or yellow. This is our third cuckoo moraine, the three week, two week old. This is our black sex link. Come on, baby. And our last little girl is our barred rock. She stayed much smaller than the other three years old. Oh, they don't know what to think about that hay. Come on. Is that hay scary? <laughs> don't like that? There's fresh food and fresh water in there. Come on. <laughs> it may take some coaxing to get them to go in there. They're not lacking the feel and movement of the hay, I don't think. Come on, girls. Get back over. Come on. <laughs> this may take a while. I think I'll, I'll coax them in and then come back to the video. Okay, we're trying to hurt these girls into the cage with this hay. And they're not really interested in trying that out. <laughs> Should we try herding chickens? Come on. Come on. Maybe if I show them that there's food back there. girls. Yes. 
Hey, very scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we are not having much luck getting the girls to go on to the hay. <laughs> They do not like the way it feels at all. They would much rather be on my lap. I don't know what we're going to do about this. <laughs> the barred rock is finally getting a little bit brave. She was making the cutest little sound I never heard her make before. I'm not sure if it was a sound of uncertainty. I don't know. But she got in there all by herself. Well, She's checking it out. Not sure if she likes how it moves when she walks on it. The others are all out here still being scaredy chickens. Oh, look, she's being brave. She's all the way back to the food. I think they'll actually like scratching for the spare food in the hay. I don't know how long. Oh, wait. Is she going to try it? Yeah, there's another chick back there getting food. Look at that. All right. I don't know how long it's going to stay clean. Two brave ones. I don't know if you can tell, but there is considerable size difference between my big girls. Right there, you're looking at four big girls and one little one. But my Buff Orpington is getting so big. She's bigger than everybody else. I worked for a very long time trying to get them to go in on the straw voluntarily, and only two of them would do it. Uh finally herded them in there. It wasn't easy. They didn't like it. As you see, they're trying not to stand on the hay. They're trying to stand everywhere else. I put a piece of paper towel in there because that's what they've been on. I thought, well, maybe they'll get on it. They are stressed about the new flooring. They don't like it. I didn't imagine it was going to be this difficult. I know it doesn't hurt them, it just feels really weird for them. I'll give them a little while and hopefully they'll calm down about it. They're having great fun right now, pecking at hay that's against the cardboard. 
It's hard to see with that light glare. Starting to get used to it. I think everyone has finally settled down about the hay. They are on the perches more than they were before, I guess, to stay up off of it. But they're all doing good. Nobody's trying to escape by sticking their head through the bars or anything now. They're doing pretty good. I don't know if you can see there, but the hay has gotten flattened down. And they have decided they're okay with it. I did put some wood chips in on the uh, one side to make a fluffier bed area for the ones who aren't sleeping on the perch. But uh, they tend to eat quite a bit of it and that worries me.